seven of us are now um, in charge of um, putting together a plan and furnishing their, their career center, which will be completed in August. Um, this morning we came to present that plan um, to the community here and get their feedback. Um, what we'd like to have is um, three or four computers, um, tables and chairs, desks, um, telephones, everything that'll make it easier for them to, to look for jobs. Um, we're camping out for an organization that we put together called Shy Milwaukee, and the purpose of the sleep out is to bring awareness about the issue of homelessness in Milwaukee. Um, we recently discovered that there are 400 youth sleeping on the streets every night on average, and um, it's just like a big issue that you know people people are, know about homelessness in Milwaukee, but youth homelessness is even a bigger problem because there are so few. Um, shelters in Milwaukee specifically for youth. Kappa Sigma worked to obtain computers for Pierce Elementary School located on the north side of Milwaukee. Kappa Sigma used social media websites to network and look for donors. They're using the Capco money to pay the donors to ship the lightly used machines to the fraternity house. They will then fix up the computers before delivering them to the school. They currently have 20 computers donated. The Burke Scholars are using their CAPCO money for a long-term project. They plan on starting a community organizing course at the Milwaukee Professional Learning Institute. The class will be held for 30 high school students per semester and may be taught by Marquette faculty. The course should begin September 2010 and continue over the next year. OSTAF members bought items to donate to Pathfinder Shelter, which is also being supported by Shy Milwaukee. Pathfinders gave the student organization a shopping wish list that included toiletries, jeans, and underwear. Due to thrifty shopping, OSTAF members were able to buy the Pathfinders teenagers around $2,000 worth of items. 